Hello, Graphanatics! Managing complex network infrastructures with multiple nodes can be chaotic, especially as your network grows. Knowing where and how each element connects is vital, but it can be hard without a visual image. Enter the Node Graph Panel Visualization in Grafana, your solution to the complex puzzles of networked elements. Grafana's Node Graph Panel Visualization is a powerful tool designed to provide comprehensive insights into your network's topology, health, and performance, while allowing you to drill down into each element with this. You can also visualize any directed graph like organizational charts, molecules, and even mind maps. But Node Graphs have particular data requirements that we should check before we create our first Node Graph Panel. Node graph panels represent a set of elements and the relationships among them, and those are precisely the node graph panel requires. First, a list of the elements called nodes, and then a list with the relationship among them called edges. For the node list, we will require a unique identifier for each element, and in the relationships list, we will identify who connects with whom. Now. Basic structure aside, you can add a few more data items in both of your lists to maximize your node panel powers. For the node list, you can add a title and subtitle to be displayed, two stats, main and sub, the color of the circle, the full color, icons, and much more. And for the edges, you can define a couple of stats, main and sub, context menu details, thickness, and highlights. If you want some examples of these, you can find some CSVs in the video description. And beware, because the column names must match the specification. For more information on this, link in the corner. And now that you understand the data needs, why don't we create our first node graph panel? We will use Grafana Play to create our first node graph panel. The steps will work as well in a local Grafana setup. To access Grafana Play, link in the corner. Grafana Play's home screen is a dashboard, and there you can click on the Add button on top and select Visualization to add a panel. In the Panel Editor, set the panel as Node Graph at the top right corner. To quickly get a visualization, we will use the Test Data data source and select the Node Graph. Super easy! We got our first visualization! If we view it as a table, this returns two lists with the two elements mentioned, nodes and edges. Now that we have our first node graph panel, let's generate another one from scratch and customize the elements in them. Alright, changing the test data to CSV, we will copy and paste the first CSV nodes in the, that are in the video description, which shows data icons. First, we will create a query and name it Notes, and then we are going to paste the CSV in it. Right away some elements, but they are not connected. Well, that's because we need the edges. So we will add a second query, name it Edges, and paste the Edges CSV. Awesome notes connected! Now, if we switch to the table view, you can tell that the notes have an ID per element, title, subtitles, stats, detail view, colors, radius, a highlight option, and an icon. If you want to know what icons can be displayed, check the link in the corner. And the same goes for the edges. We have an edge ID, who connects with whom, stats, messages, highlights, and thickness. Most of the graph panel customizations in terms of visualization come from the data. Here in the panel settings, you can only define the units of the stats metrics in the nodes and in the edges. Ah, and as well, this is one of the few panels that have no field overrides, and you also cannot move the nodes manually. Again, everything comes from the data and Grafana handles it. To play a bit further, let's copy and paste another dataset from the CSV data in the video description. Uh, the display changes when bringing the data values instead of the icons. If you want, check the CSV values to understand the different elements that you can modify with all the examples in the description. When you click apply, it will show your node graph panel. Querying a data source that provides the required node graph data helps to visualize lots of information, and you can also place them together with many other panels
channels out there. If you want to learn more, check the videos on the screen. But now you have sight beyond sight with your new Node Graph panel. Happy dashboarding and have a good one.